Hi everyone. So today we're going to learn about traditional Newfoundland music. Why Newfie music? Well, the thing about Newfie music is uh, Newfoundland and Labrador have a strong tradition of fishermen. And so kind of sea shanties were a big part of their daily life while they were out on the boat. But when they came back to town, a lot of these fishermen, they didn't have a lot of money. Um, so their instruments were made out of things that they had lying around. And I kind of was thinking, you know, everyone's stuck inside their homes and a lot, a lot of people don't have instruments. But the one thing everyone has in their house is junk. And that is what these instruments were made out of. Um, that. And so I got my friend Mrs. Rigue to come in and we're going to start off with a little demo of what Newfie music sounds like. Hi boys and girls, I brought a special guest star for us today, Mrs. Rie. Hi! to listen to a song, Eyes the By, uh, we're going to break it down. So there were a couple of instruments in that video, and the first being, I got a stick. this is probably the thing that you notice the most, as it was quite ugly. Now, there is no right or wrong way to build an ugly stick, but there's a couple of things it has in common. Um, first of all, the pole of the ugly stick is always made from an old mop, or broom. Usually a mop, uh, mine is not, but quite often the mop head is what gave them the idea to kind of make the head like a person. Um, so a lot of traditional um, ugly sticks you'll see made with a mop. Ours, um, I actually made this with the community band and I'll show you the final product of that project at the end of this video. Um, but ours was made with an old broom that we had lying around. Funny story, uh, Mr. Brooks and I forgot that we used the room to make an ugly stick and we kind of were fighting with each other all spring that year, being like, where did you leave the broom? I don't know, where did you leave the broom? And then we realized, oh yeah, we turned it into an ugly stick. Funny story. Um, all ugly sticks, yeah, so old broom or old mop that makes the pole. Usually an old boot. Uh, so Newfie tradition would be more an old rubber boot um, as you know, the whole fisherman thing. Uh, we live in Fort St. John, so I used an old snow boot that my sister had left behind when she moved. Um, so the boot, when you slam the pole down, makes kind of a bass drum sound. And then you'll notice that it's also got this kind of jingly thing going on. And so traditionally, um, all kinds of junk would be used to make the jingles. Um, so nails or screws. Um, either works. I have some people say nails are better, other people say screws are better. Um, I think as long as you're playing too crazy, the nails should be fine. Uh, you can use bottle caps. Um, this here was a piece of just uh, like a computer hard drive or something that had broken. It was lying around my garage at the time that I made this. My kids were eating a lot of baby food. Um, I've got some washers here. Um, really, uh, there is no right or wrong way. Some ugly sticks will have a bunch of tin cans up the side. Um, and I chose for this one to put a coffee can on the top. I repurposed this. This is one of my drumming coffee cans that my drumming students uh, loved a little bit too much. So I turned it into a face. And so to play the ugly stick, um, you could use a drumstick like I did in that other video, or you could use whatever you've got lying around. So this is my desk here, so whatever. Let's grab a Sharpie, permanent marker. And so to play it, you make a combination of a bass drummy kind of sound by slamming the boot, kind of a snare drum sound by hitting the stick with a stick, and if you jiggle it, that kind of activates your junk jigglers. And you get kind of a tambourine sound. And you can kind of treat the tin can on the top, or if you use tin cans up and down the side, 
as a little bit of a cymbal. So you can get kind of many similar sounds to that of a traditional drum kit. Drum, junk just lying around. So the other instrument that you saw in my video uh, were the spoons. And so I had two kind of spoons in my video. I had these. These are much nicer hand carved um, designed to be an instrument. They're designed to be a little bit easier for kids. You play it normally between your hand and your knee. Now obviously these are the easiest um, and that's what I would use with kids if school was in session. It's not, um, but traditionally they used real spoons. They're a bit trickier because what you kind of have to do is you have to put like a finger or thumb, different people hold it different ways, but you have to put some of something in here so that they're apart, and then you kind of use your wrist and hand um, to smack them together in a similar way. So I thought spoons would be a fun instrument to talk about because everybody has them. So there you have it. There are two instruments that you can make in your house with junk you have lying around. So I triple dog dare you all to make an ugly stick and a set of spoons and create your own version of Eyes the Buy or whatever sea shanty you can dream up. Have fun. Before we go, I'm just going to show you the original performance of this ugly stick. So this ugly stick, um, Students ruined the head, so the, the tin can part is new this year. Um, the original head got broken. But this ugly stick was actually created a couple years ago um, for the Northern Winds Community Band. We were doing a Canadian folk song suite, and my percussionist played spoons and the ugly stick um, in concert band, and I dressed in full Newfoundland regalia. So you can check out that video next. <laughs>